All right, and it seems like we have a clear winner. Congratulations, Sinead. You are going to be moving on to the finale. Congratulations to Ellie, who will be moving on to the finale, going up against Nay from Tech Tesseract. The finale is upon us, but before we get started, we do have a special guest with us here right now. Why don't you introduce yourself to everyone? I'm Ronley Christensen with Blue Horse Studios. Um, we're here to celebrate Sega's new IP, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. Uh, we created a really cool modular part bin for the modders to create these custom PCs. So uh, yeah, super excited to see what they come up with. I can feel it. So Ron played a special part for the finale. So let's go ahead and check out what he's been up to. have built their PCs, they've overclocked them, and now they're going to be modifying it with these modular parts, care of Blue Horse Studios, who have built them from scratch. Ellie and A are going head-to-head -head with this one, and it's up to you guys at the end of it all to vote for your favorite build. Alright, so why don't we go ahead and check out the modular parts created by Blue Horse Studios, shall we? Wow, okay, this is a lot. It seems like this took hours and hours to create, so why don't you tell us the process behind creating all of these? Yeah, so this is based off uh, Sega's new IP, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. So the idea for the modders here to do is pick these signs and these um, these little IPs and all these little cool looking, I don't know what you want to call them, greebles, and stack them onto the case and, and kind of come up with a scene basically based on the IP. And what we'll do from there is customize the paint job on the case to tie into what they're choosing so it, the cases match what they choose here. And everything's gonna look cohesive. When it came to round three and the design for my PC, this was probably the toughest challenge that I ever had to do because I had to really think on my feet and not have enough time to really go over design. I had to just pick something and go with it and hope that it would work. One of the things that I saw was this beautiful tropical things. I saw these hibiscus flowers, the palm trees, monstera leaves. And I knew that, you know, with the really fun, bright builds that John and I typically do at Liquid House, I knew that we were going to want to do something bright and fun. So these tropical pieces were exactly what I wanted for my builds. This is absolutely epic. Gosh. This way takes you to the inside too. Ron! <laughs> you wanted a fish tank, right? So we made you a fish tank. Wow, so all the kelp. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's gonna be perfect for the underwater scene. Like oh, that's so wow. cool. Yeah, so, perfect for the fish. So like if you wanted to put like a little <laughs> fish. Yes! <laughs> it's, it's, that looks so good! It's so good. Uh, I was just in awe. Um, obviously, I'm very familiar with his work. I know what he's capable of, but seeing this and our what we had talked about and our vision come to life was just absolutely breathtaking. Um, the colors on this thing were just stunning, vibrant, bright, exactly what I was imagining, and honestly, everything that I wanted. Absolutely stunning, and it's gonna go perfectly with the pieces that we picked out for it, too. 
Yeah, I, I can't wait to be your assistant. I know. I think we'll pull <laughs> something together really awesome thanks to you. Yeah. This no is problem. beautiful work, Ron. Yeah, it was excellent. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun to paint. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Oh, wow, Ron! Look how good that is! That looks so freaking cool. Yeah, he, uh, he turned out I very... am freaking speechless. Yeah, so we tried to paint him to the scale that you kind of requested so we can yeah. fit the ramen bowl in his hands. So he, yeah. he, uh, the ramen bowl will fit perfectly in this area right here. Wow. And so if you want to take the fundushi ramen and, and place it maybe in the bottom yeah. or the top too, it would be like wow. So this is, this is like hand painted? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You are so That's good. That's so good. Yeah, that took place about 3.45 a.m. last night. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. wow, I bet you were tired. Now, if you guys are familiar with Ron and his work, you guys know that it probably takes about two to three weeks to get any of his PC builds done because he goes insane when it comes to the details and the work that he puts in. So for him to do this all overnight with his wife, I honestly don't know how he did it. When I first saw those panels, when I walked into the studio, I was just blown away because he took the vision that I had and he built on it tenfold and made it better than I could ever imagine. And look at all the parts. Yeah, so we painted all oh, of them wow. in the, yeah, the gradients that you requested all going from black to this red. Is awesome. Even the vertical mount. Yeah, as the, well. yeah. the vertical mount. We painted the vertical mount and your uh, your 120 millimeter fan yes. grills as well. Oh, this is gonna look so good. I'm, then, so, I'm so excited. And then I'm just together. gonna turn this around here, so that's the inside. Oh wow, yeah. So you can see that as well. That looks awesome. I love yeah. how the colors blend. That was a good idea for us to put the reds together at the end, so it all looks seamless. Yeah, I love it. I love the the color scheme you chose oh, on that side. I can't so wait cool. to see it like all together. You yeah, know? yeah. You did a fantastic job. No, you good did a fantastic job, yeah, man. Yeah, no, you that's, killed that's, it. No, so you, cool. you, you made my job easy by choosing a really cool theme. So thanks, I appreciate yeah, I, it. No, I appreciate you. I know Ron had been working really hard on this stuff, so it was great to see it all laid out on the table. And we're super excited to put it all together and see how it turns out. All right, guys, you've I've seen your completed cases now. What do you think? Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Insane, man. So we're just going to pass them off to you guys now to do all the finalizing of the customization of the, those parts. Um, you're not stuck with those uh, individual pieces. So if you see something else now that you see the finished paint jobs and you want to move your panels around, you're welcome to do that. So there's a couple adhesive adhesive options that you have to choose from. You can use the five minute epoxy. Mm -hmm. um, there's CA glue over there and there's also mounting tape. And once those panels are finished, we're gonna take them off and get them automotive clear coated so they're gonna yes. have a beautiful diamond finish to them. Oh my God. Yeah, it's awesome. gonna be beautiful. So I'm just gonna leave it to you guys to finish them up. I'm gonna awesome. be watching from behind the scenes right, and see nice. how it all comes together. Awesome. All right, thank you so much, all right. Man. let's do it. Yeah, thank let's you. Go. It was an honor building it. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Yeah, you too, guys. Good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Take care. So Tech Tester Rack and Liquid House now have all the parts that they need to finally finish their build. Once again, thank you so much to Blue Horse Studios for the modular parts that they've produced. And with that said, are you guys ready to make your build? Yeah! Alright, yes. get started in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here. We're Are, getting it started. I know, I mean, it seems like you have a very, you're leaning heavily on the topical side of things, but how does this connect to like a Dragon Infinite World? My biggest thing when I like to play video games is I really like to take in the atmosphere and the environment. So when I saw that we had all of these options to do very tropical themed, I knew that that was the vibe that I wanted to run with. So um, we have a lot of really fun colors uh, to pop, hopefully grab your attention. You can see I have the outside kind of an island um, sunset vibe with the water. Oh, but then magic you also, hour. Yeah, the magic yes. hour. And then you also have like the inside you see underwater. I noticed, like it's like you have the ocean and like the bottom of the ocean here. Well, it makes sense because you did get some fish. Pieces. I did, I got some water life and I'm really excited to integrate that into this build. All right, and it seems like you're putting John to work this time. John is with us. I am. I'm okay with that. I'm yes. happy to be the supportive spouse. Aww, that's so sweet. <laughs> I am lucky. 
We are going to swap out the 240 AIO to a 360 AIO just for aesthetic purposes mm -hmm. to make it fit the case a little bit better. So I have him swapping the fans on that. Um, we have some beautiful fan grills that we're going to add into it to really tie this whole the outside and the inside of the case together for the theme. All right. Well, I'll leave you guys to it. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, Nay. Hi, Josh. Hi. Oh, wow. Okay. This going? is a contrast to what Liquid House is yeah. doing, but I see. Oh, you have a baseball bat. I do. I All do. All right. So, how does your build um, connect to like a Dragon Infinite 12? So originally when we were picking our parts, I was also thinking about doing a beachy theme, but as soon as I kept seeing this ramen bowl, mm. it had the original colors that I wanted to do, which was the gold, blacks, and red, and I just kind of felt like it would fit really well. So the more that Ooh. I pondered on that, that's when the whole ramen shop vibe came to mind. And I wanted to also incorporate a few of the things that we brought ourselves that would still match to the theme of the original thing that we wanted to do. So that's kind of how we've tried so to incorporate it. Did you make this yourself? The I did. Part? So I ordered these off of Amazon and then I spray painted them gold. Oh. So I'm hoping I'll be able to glue these on there. I might have to cut them and kind of like strip them just so we have like a flat end to go on the front of the case. Mm, but I think it will work if we, you know, if we work hard. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, well, everything looks amazing. I can't wait to see what the final product's gonna look like. And of course, we have Josh mm -hmm. here, your assistant, who will yes. help you <laughs> get things done quickly. So, I'll leave you to it. All right, thank you. Okay, it Hello. seems like Chloe. you guys are putting the graphics card together. We sure are putting it back together with the sh painted shroud. All right, can, can, can we, can you lift it up so yes. we can see what it looks like? Oh, I I see. haven't even been able to look at it. Yeah, there the it is. Accent. If I remember correctly, the GPU mount has this neon yellow and pink. Yes. So it's right the here. same color as that one. Yeah. It is, yes. Oh, so it's gonna match it, it really yeah, nicely. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah and we'll I love how it pink. pops. Yes. You can see that, you, you can already tell that it's gonna pop from yeah, the like entire Yeah, like immediately, build. yeah. All right, okay. And this is what your fans look like with the flowers. Oh, yeah, this will be the. Uh, this will be the intake. So we're putting the grills on the back side of the fans. So this will be in the front. Oh, beautiful. Okay, well, I'll leave you guys to it. Awesome. Go ahead and finish that up. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, over here at the Tech Tesseract table. What's up, guys? All right, Hello. so everything seems to be coming along as mm -hmm. well. It's looking really good. I'm super excited for it. I like how you guys went for the white case instead of a black because mm -hmm. if it's black, it's going to be too much black, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I believe in the other side, you do, or is it on this side, the sumo wrestler? Uh, on the back side. I can hold him. Oh, oh, he's going like to hold that. the ramen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah. Smart. I that. love it. So. And then these are the cables that you'll yep. be using for the motherboard. We might use the gold ones depending depending on how it looks. So we'll you see. have the option of either black, black and red, red or, or black and gold. Yeah. So okay. All right. We will see. Once everything's in there, I feel like that would be the final step to kind of be like which color makes it pop more. So all right, I can't wait to see it all come together. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. Getting to the end of this challenge um, on the third build, everything's coming together. We're gluing on, epoxying these last pieces. I'm looking across from me and I'm seeing Nay's build. And I will tell you, there was a little bit of, 
I, I lacked confidence at that moment. Their build was very cohesive, where ours was a little bit more wacky. That being said, that's what we were setting out to do. We really wanted it to be fun. We wanted it to pop. We wanted the colors to be bright. We wanted every piece of the, every different panel of this case to grab your attention in a different way. And I think that we were able to execute on that. So the build turned out even better than we'd expected. We managed to get all the little different details on it that we wanted to put on, everything that had kind of fallen into place. And I feel like the end result was something that just really fit with the theme of the game. All right, you guys, both Tech Tesseract and Liquid House are officially done with their builds. And I can't wait to show you guys what they've created because they are both so beautiful. So let's go ahead and start with Liquid House. Hi, guys. Hi. What's up? Hey. Oh, my goodness. This looks so <laughs> good. Thank you. I love the color scheme that you guys went with this. So tell me more about it, Ellie. So we really wanted to make it super bright and fun. There's a little wackiness to it on the back, I was about too. to say, like, yeah. it's a little bit wacky. Yeah. I love the pop of colors, especially with that pink. So on the back here, it's kind of <laughs> funny, silly, wacky. We it's have, wacky. It is wacky. It comes in a little bit fun. We have the shark leaping out of the water here, catching the burger. Um, but yeah, I think we really wanted to bring a lot of attention to the colors. I love it. It's so beautiful. and I really think Blue Horse did such a good job. An incredible job. An incredible yeah. job capturing that sunset. And I love the dimension that you guys had here for the aquarium. And even these the little details of the... The little kelp and yeah, all the plants kelp, underwater. The bubbles. It's it's so beautiful. Yes. I love it. And I feel like though having choosing a white build mm -hmm. just really adds to the tropical essence feel of it, of it being light. Right, yes. it does not take away from the color scheme at all. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, yeah, exactly. I, I agree. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> I love. You. I love all of the colors that you guys use for this build. And you guys should be very proud of yourself. Thank you, Ellie, you should be very proud of yourself. Absolutely. This is so beautiful. Thanks, Maxon. All right, well, congrats. I'm gonna Thank go you. check out oh, Tech Tesseract. Sounds good. All right, Hello. Nate, Josh. Hi. How's it going? <gasps> Wow, this looks, this is a completely different build from mm -hmm. what Ellie created, but yeah. I love it all the same. I love the gradient. So tell, why don't you tell me about your build right now? So I'm actually really happy with the build. It turned out better than you I thought it be. would be. You I, should be. <laughs> I think it looks great. Um, we decided to go with that red and black theme with the gold. I think it all pairs really nicely together with all the even little details from um, the clans from in the game on the GPU, mm -hmm. even to the bat on the front. I put a little bit of blood, so it's like a little bit more of texture and it comes out to you and it looks like it's used. Yeah. And then I didn't want to waste the bob wire that I had, so I decided to use it on the AIO just for a little bit more detail I know, I inside of that. it. Yeah, that that is a, a nice touch to it. It mm -hmm. really pulls in together the whole um, like a dragon infinite well yes. feel to it. Mm -hmm. And even the gold, uh, matching the gold on the um, graphics card, on the fans of the graphics card, and even with your shrouds. That's beautiful. I love it. And I do believe you have a friend here at the we back. We do, we do. Why don't you introduce him to us? So this is our, our ramen shop from inside the game, which turned out so good. Ron did such an amazing job Beautiful. making this. I, I was not expecting it to look this good. I honestly thank him for staying up and painting it because his work shows. He did shows. not sleep. Uh, he did yeah, not no. sleep to get this right. Yeah, he did a fantastic job. I love he gave me the little idea of putting our little crawfish in the food, which makes sense because you're eating ramen, have food yeah, in it. Exactly. And it looks like he's holding the I ramen. Know, exactly. It's adorable. I yeah. love it. It just goes to show that your computer can be a piece of art exactly. in your gaming room. So exactly. it's all about, you know, all that customization will yeah. get you someplace. So if you guys love ramen and you love the PC build that we did, make sure you go and vote for us because Josh and I would absolutely love that. I feel like we got really creative on this build and it turned out really good. Thank you so much for tuning in and please don't forget to vote for Team Liquid House for your favorite builds. All right, now it's in your hands. You guys will have to vote for your favorite build. Will you guys vote for Liquid House? <laughs> or will you vote for Tech Tesseract? Honestly, I don't know how you guys are gonna do it because it's like choosing between apples and oranges. I mean, they're both different builds and they're both beautiful, so good luck with that. For more details on how to cast your vote, be sure to check out the details down below and Guys, good luck. Thank you so much for joining Intel Rig Rush. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>